Today we're breaking down my production rig for the Lumix S5 Mark IIx. Over the last month or so, I've been shooting a lot with the Lumix S5 Mark IIx, and I finally feel like I do have my rig dialed in, and so I felt like it was a good time to bring this to you, and so that's what we're gonna talk about here today. And so let's go ahead and dive in and breaking down this rig, starting first with the core of the rig. The core of the rig right now is a C-Ray full cage. Recently, C-Ray did send me this cage to use and give my opinions on, and so I've been testing it out, and I actually really like this cage. It's built really solid and has plenty of mounting points overall it's just a solid cage a good alternative if it meets your needs now when I do use my cinema lenses I am using a photo deox PL to L mount adapter now I do have an MC 31 from Sigma but it primarily stays on the F I am using a Camvate base plate to attach the adapter to the camera cage, again, just for overall security. And this is ultimately gonna play a part into the bottom portion of the rig. With that said, let's move to the bottom of the rig. I am using small rig 50 millimeter rods. I believe I'm using eight inch in length, and those are being held in place by just a basic small rig base plate. And that base plate does have the second half of the Camvate quick release system. I do at the back of the camera have my Andy Cine V-mount battery with the Andy Cine base plate attached to it. This is more of a secondary battery solution, a counterweight, and a place to rest the rig against my upper chest or torso for stability. Now on the other side of the Andy Cine V-mount plate, I do also have an SSD mount from Nicey Rig mounted on the other side. And this just makes the whole rig a little bit cleaner. I don't have an SSD hanging off a random part of the rig. Everything is a little bit more buttoned up with this setup having that SSD sit between the V-mount battery and the camera itself. Now, when it's appropriate for the project, I am using a Tilta MBT-12 map box, but in a scenario where I'm doing more run and gun, having to be a little bit more fast paced, I do like the convenience of having a variable ND. And so that's what I'm using right now. And I am primarily using a Tiffin Black Pro Mist quarter strength and also a Peter McKinnon variable ND, a two to five stop to control exposure. Now moving to the top of the rig, the top handle I'm using is also from C-Ray. This is one that they sent me to test out. And I'll be honest, this is probably one of my favorite things of the rig right now. This top handle is super comfortable. Now I do mount my monitor at the front of the top handle. As we look at the footage of me building this rig, you'll see that I'm using a Feel World F5 Pro. And that's just simply because I'm recording the footage with the Blackmagic Video Assist in B-Raw. But normally I would be using the Blackmagic Video Assist on this rig for a couple different reasons. One is if I want to or if I need to, I can shoot B-Raw. It's not my preference with the S5 Mark IIx, and if you guys want to know more about that, let me know in the comments below. But I also do like the Video Assist because it is a solid field monitor very bright, well-constructed, and it's just so easy to use. And so that's my production rig for the Lumix S5 Mark IIx. If I wasn't clear about something, let me know in the comments below and I'll answer any questions you may have. And of course, all these components are listed in the description. And so if you do wanna purchase any one of these components, check out the links in the description below. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're into the L-Mount Alliance, whether it's a Sigma FP, FPL, or Lumix S5 Mark IIx, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Ah!